in previous versions of Cubase, there was a limited amount of configuration you could do to the appearance of the channel in the mixer. Basically, you had a narrow fader or a wide fader with nothing in between. But now in Cubase 7, you can actually customize how wide the channels are in the mix console and they've done a really cool thing in the project window the zoom in and zoom out commands are G and H on your computer keyboard and so they've retained that convention inside of the mix console you'll notice that right now I'm looking at these nine channels including the stereo input and stereo output so all of my tracks fit in this window but what if I wanted a little bit more room well what I can do is type G G, and that will start to incrementally decrease the channel width and I finally get down to a very very narrow width or if I wanted to increase the width I could just type H and now I get a very very wide channel width so that's how you can customize the width of a channel in the mix console but you should also be aware that in previous versions of Cubase the height of the faders themselves were predetermined. They could not be modified. But in Cubase 7's mix console, you can now come up to the in-between point between the racks and the channels. And you'll notice that when you hover in that in-between point, your cursor now turns into a little up and down arrow. And now you can click and drag the channel height or the rack height to configure it the way that you want it configured so you can really go to extremes to get really tall nice faders or really small faders to expose more of the racks and this is really important if you're using just one monitor so you can see exactly what you want to be working with and then there are also some controls over here under this drop down box which is called the functions menu and when you click on that button then you also have the zoom controls available to you here and you'll see that the shortcuts are listed as far as reducing or increasing channel width or reducing or increasing rack height. You'll notice that they still use the same convention of G and H, but they also have Shift G to reduce the rack height or Shift H to increase the rack height. So if you are a keyboard shortcut fiend like I am, not only can you use G and H to change the channel width, but you can use Shift G and Shift H to increase or decrease the rack height. Now in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add FX channels right in the mix console.